Hello, welcome. I hope you're having a great start of May. Today's April 1st for me and I am kicking off my fourth month of recording all of the lipsticks that I wear in my journey of trying on all my lipsticks and narrowing down my collection and making sure it's perfect for me right now. We are almost done going through all my lipsticks. Pretty crazy. I started 2021 with like over 250 lipsticks. So the fact that now I have like 110 or 120, something like that, and we're almost done trying them all on is pretty crazy for me. So I have like 10 or 12, something like that more after today. And then after that, I'll start repeating some lipsticks that I've used at other times this year. So then in May, I can do like a big declutter and hopefully get to like a really good spot with my lipsticks. But I don't even know if I said what the point of this video is. This video is just all the lipsticks that I'm wearing in April. So today I am wearing this KVD Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick. It's in the shade Lolita. This is pretty new to my lipstick collection. I feel like most of my lipsticks were acquired like years ago, or at least they have been until I've been pretty heavily decluttering recently. And this is one that I got, I think in 2021, and I really like it a lot. I have the mini, so it was only like $12, but like who finishes up a lipstick anyway? I love the color of it. I love the formula of it. I need to make sure I'm wearing the hell out of this while it's good and I'm not letting it go bad like I did so many of my other lipsticks because I'm really into this. See you tomorrow. Today is April 2nd and I'm wearing the ColourPop Lux Lip Oil in the shade Hot Spark. It looks very orange in the container, but on my lips, it's just like a really kind of subtle peachy sheen to it. I really like the way it looks. I think lip oil is a good name for it. It's like a really comfortable formula, not sticky at all. My only complaint with it is I think it does kind of have like a weird taste to it. I think it's the taste it's meant to have. This isn't that old. I think I got it last spring, so it's just about a year old. Um, so not my favorite experience, but I do really like the look of it on my lips and the feel of it on my lips. Today is April 3rd and I'm wearing the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Friday. It had a little bit of a weird smell when I first applied it, but then when it dried down, it dried down a lot, but it doesn't smell anymore, so that's good. Not my favorite formula, of course, but it's just the kind of thing that I like having my arsenal. I whip out every so often and I don't need it to be perfect. I don't need to go on a journey for the perfect black lipstick because it's just not going to come up that often. I really like it with exactly this look though, with like a really kind of like shimmery golden eye. And then the lip is kind of just like cool and unexpected. I'm into it. Today's April 4th. It's a little bit of a weird makeup day, but now that I see it on camera, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'm not wearing foundation, which is pretty unusual for me. And I feel like this lip tone kind of like blends into my skin a little bit too much. I don't know. This is Rum Punch from Tarte. I love this packaging. I don't even know if they still have this line. This was like the Siren of the Sea or the Island of the Sea, something like that. But I've had this for a really long time. It's kind of like more of a cool toned nude, I thought. But it looks really peachy right now. I don't really know how I feel about it. It's throwing me for a loop. I probably would want to wear a lip liner with it in the future, but maybe that's also a reason to not keep it. I don't know. A lot of mixed feelings. Today is April 8th and I lined my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Intense Liner. I've used it before. It's a repeat product. But then on top of that, I put the Fenty Mademoiselle Lipstick, Plush Matte Lipstick in Griselda which is this like deep burgundy. I have very mixed feelings about it. I want to love this because it kind of reminds me of NARS Volga, which was one of like my first high-end makeup products and I loved it a lot. I had a really good trip on the Volga River and it reminded me of that and it was like a cool sleek component. I still have it 
except it's like really old and unusable and they test animals now and I wouldn't rebuy it. But I thought this would be like my modern day equivalent but I just don't love it as much as I once loved that. So it's like a bad reason to hold on to this. I don't know. I also really like the name of this because it reminds me of the name of some people that I'm very fond of. But overall, I don't know. I guess I like it today, but if I don't wear it with this lip liner, it's really hard to get a straight line. So I kind of like need to wear it with lip liner, which isn't my favorite thing to do. And also, it smells a little bit Play-Doh-y. It's not like the most luxe experience going on. I don't know. I'm kind of still working through my feelings about it, I guess, because I do like it today. I don't know. That was a lot to say about it to just say I don't know. But I mean, once it's on, it is kind of like a nice formula. It's matte, but it's not too dry. I don't know. <laughs> In conclusion, I don't know. So there's that. Today is April 9th, I think, and I'm wearing a repeat lipstick because I'm filming what I bought in March, and I bought this in March. So it's this Tarte Glamazon lip gloss. Really cute. I like it. Comfortable. Today is April 11th, and I started out with my trusty Milani lip liner. This is in 03 Nude. And I just outlined the outskirts of my lips, and then I went in with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk balm. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's like a skinnier tube than the regular lipsticks. I really like it. It's like a really comfortable formula. It just feels luxurious. And I feel like I could see this being like a like a signature lip of mine if I was important enough to have those. But really comfortable, really like the color, really into it. Today's the same day. I switched up my makeup a little bit because I'm doing some more filming. And I put on the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Candy Paint. This is a matte X. And I love this. I know I always say I really like it, but like, I love this. It doesn't feel old as many of my recent Lippy Sticks did. I really like the creamy matte formula of this. And just this color, this it's like a it's like a roasted chestnut nude. It still has like the pink warmness to it, but it's definitely like more of a brown also. I feel like I haven't put this on in so long because it just it just feels like I'm putting on for the first time. I really like this. Really excited about it. Yeah. Today is April 13th, and I'm wearing this milk makeup lipstick in the shade cream but it's like an acronym with like periods between all of them i don't know this was all the rage a couple years ago it looks like this i've been nervous that it's going to be too light of a pink for me but i think it's still good it is really pink though it does smell kind of play-doh-y but it is really comfortable i like the formula i think i like it i'm a little bit on the fence little bit on the fence, but I think that might be me carrying in my ideas of it. You know? Today is the 13th again, and I'm wearing Lime Crime Squash. It's a weird color that I really like. I wouldn't have necessarily picked it for today if I wasn't running low on colors and knowing that this one looks good with a pink eye and I have a pink eye on. But I mean, I don't hate the look together. Maybe it's my shirt that's throwing me off, and if I was wearing, like, a white tank top, then I would really be into this makeup. But yeah, it's a weird color that I really like. Pretty standard matte liquid lipstick formula. Cute. Today's April 14th. I've been wearing this lipstick for about an hour, but I still think it looks really good, so I'm just not even going to touch it up, and we're just going to talk about it. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from KVD Vegan Beauty. It's in the shade Lolita 2. I had this years ago and I loved it. I thought of it as like one of my favorite lip shades. I replaced it maybe last year or the end of the prior year with this little mini one. I It might be the first time I'm using it today. The lipstick itself does smell a little bit old. Like I wonder if even when I bought it, it had been made a while before. But once it's on, it's so nice and I can see why I loved it so much. The color is like rusty without being too bold. 
It's like a perfect everyday lipstick that's just not on the pink scale. It's matte, but it doesn't feel too dry. The fact that even like I can do this check-in having applied it an hour ago, I feel like a lot of my matte liquid lipsticks wouldn't be able to do that. All in all, pleased. I wouldn't mind having a newer one of this, but I feel like unless they change their packaging, there would be no way to like ensure that I'm actually getting a newer batch. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick in the shade Amorosa. My favorite thing about it is the packaging. It's this like beautiful hot pink chrome packaging. Feels very luxurious. It's the only Natasha Denona lipstick that I have and I bought it mostly. Why isn't it focusing? Because I love the packaging. I think I like the color a little bit more with a lip liner. It is very nude and very cool, but also like it's a very specific look and I feel like I don't mind having this in my collection for when I do want that like almost concealer lip, but like the more updated version that's like not like really a concealer lip kind of thing going on. I think it even looks more dramatic without the lights on. But I think like with like a brownish lip liner, I'd be really into it. Really comfortable formula. I don't know if I said that. Today's April 17th and I have my second lipstick purchase of the year that I'm going to put on with you. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Lip Shine Lacquer. I got the shade Felt Cute. Her satin lipsticks, or I think, no, they're called the, the Velvet for her, but they're basically the same thing as the ColourPop Ultra Satin. They were a formula that I really liked. They've been discontinued and this came out recently and I'm kind of hoping it'll be similar, but the lacquer name makes me think it's gonna be more of just like a really pigmented gloss, which could be fine in its own way. I just really wish it was like a like a satin liquid lipstick. But let's um let's pop her on and see. I've never had one of the Kylie lipsticks in like the pink accent tube, but yeah, the color looks really cute and right up my alley. I feel like the color is a little bit more pink than I would have expected, but it still is like a nice neutral pink. I like it. I'll have to report back somewhere about how it kind of wears, but it does feel like it's just like a high shine gloss, but it does look cute. It looks very glossy. Yeah, I think I like this. Zoro is not wearing any lip gloss, but I am and I'm out of focus. The gloss that I am wearing is the Tower 28 gloss. I have this little mini one and it's in the clear. It's called Chill. I'm a little bit nervous about it because I had Cashew, which I decluttered in like my last big lipstick declutter and it definitely like went off. The color went off and everything. And with this clear one, I'm like, will I even know when it goes off because it doesn't have like a color to go off? I don't know, but um, I do like it. It does have like a really nice slippery finish. It's not sticky whatsoever, and I really like it. Today's April 20th and we're on the penultimate lipstick. I can't believe that after tomorrow I will have worn all of my lipsticks this year. That's really cool. And then I'll get to start kind of like retrying some and see how it goes. So today, for this lovely one, I'm wearing <laughs> Dose of Colors over the top. This was the collab with Desi and Katie. I think it originally came out in like 2017, but then they re-released it in 2018 and that's when I got it. But it doesn't feel old or anything. It's a really nice gloss. It's not sticky and I feel like it has the perfect amount of gold glitter suspended in it so that it looks glittery but it's not like gritty and it's not hard to wear with other things. I do think it would look better either not on camera, just like in everyday life, or if I were to wear it on camera with a lip liner just to like keep my lip outline going. But I really like this one and yeah. Today's April 21st and we have my final new lipstick that I haven't worn in this series yet. And actually it's one that I haven't worn at all. I got it last fall. It's this Wet n Wild 
wet cherry lip gloss in bitter cherry i'm like a big like save the best for last kind of person like i didn't want to just end up at the end of this with like all of my reject lipsticks all of my like crazy colors that are hard to match and i was kind of like purposely leaving a good one so my review on this is that the smell of it is like almost sickeningly sweet i do have this in another shade i have it in like like a clear with green glitter that i wore maybe in like february and i said then that it smells and tastes like candy flavored candy canes which i really like and i think this one's even stronger i don't mind it but just putting that out there that like if i was someone that didn't like makeup products to have a scent I would be like so completely disgusted by the scent because it's really strong but i really like it i think it almost looks like a lip oil and it kind of feels like that too it doesn't have anything sticky about it it's like a very just like slippery soft gloss with just like a little bit of this neutral brown tone to it and i really like it today is april 22nd and this is the first clip of me kind of revisiting lipsticks that I tried earlier this year. I have a bunch that I tried in January and a lot of them are liquid lipsticks that are really old. It was before I did that big declutter where I decluttered like a third of my lip products and I just was wondering if I was kind of like looking at them from a different perspective than I am looking at my lipsticks through now and that I want to look at my lipsticks through. So for today, I put on ColourPop Barracuda. This is an ultra satin lipstick, one of my favorite formulas ever that doesn't exist anymore. And I'm pleasantly surprised by this. It still feels nice. It doesn't smell bad. <laughs> and like, it looks nice. I feel like it was more watery going on than I recall this formula being but it didn't affect the performance it didn't affect the the scent or the the way it gets on your teeth or anything like it still stayed put even though it was very smooth and now i'm wondering if like all of the january ones that i gave the thumbs up to are good still i guess we'll have to see in the coming days but yeah this one is still working out for me Today's April 23rd. I know, happy half birthday to me. Thank you. And I'm revisiting the Urban Decay lip stain. It's called the Stay Naked Vice Lip Chemistry in Physique. I do like it, but it's a really weird formula and like I'm on the fence about it. It kind of feels like a very light gloss. It does give me a nice stain. It's kind of easy to wear, but it also kind of like feels a little icky on my lips. I don't know how to describe it better than that. But like it just feels like not as glossy as a gloss. It kind of feels like when I go to bed with lip balm on and then I wake up too early so the lip balm's still like chew there and like I know that and it just feels so like gross in the morning. That was my cat. Uh, yeah, it kind of feels like that. So I don't know. The color and the ease of use might prevail, but it's definitely not a favorite. Today is April 24th and I decided to once again put on ColourPop Magic Wand. I also went back and I watched the clip where I used this in February and I knew then that like it's it's getting there. Like I mean like it got there. Like it's old. <laughs> it's no longer good. And I think my verdict right now is that it's retired from going on my lips but I am going to keep it for a future video where I try to find a dupe where I see what's similar in my collection because it's just so perfect. I feel like nudes like this come only a couple times in a lifetime. I hope not, but um, I really like it. I'm sad to see it go, but it's had a long, happy life with me. And I mean, it's not really going, but it's just not gonna be worn on my mouth. Okay, I just swapped that out for this ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Crushin. I realized that really my only concern about this is that I hate the brush. I hate like the little plasticky bristle brush. But other than that, the experience of wearing it is so nice. The color is really nice. It has like a really nice kind of like 
light fragrance. I really like it. Today's April 27th and I have another new lipstick to do a first impressions on. This one was actually gifted to me by Merit. I feel like a rock star and I'm so happy to say that. And also I have an affiliate code with them now too. So I'll link that down below. I can't believe I'm saying that. This is their signature lip in the shade Baby. And I'm so excited to try this. I wanted this so bad for a long time before I knew I had the opportunity to work with them. I also have another project with them too that I'm going to be doing a video maybe next week or something like that where I show those a little bit more. But look how pretty this tube is. I almost like don't wanna mess up that little branding, but I will. This is the shade Baby if I haven't said that. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. I do wish that the top had like a little bit more of an angle. I feel like I can't get into my Cupid's bow. But sometimes I do like just obscuring my Cupid's bow and I like the silhouette on my lips. My first impression on this is it feels like a bomb, but a little bit less slippery. So a little bit like, like right between a lipstick and a bomb. It's super comfortable. I feel like I could definitely wear this all day. And I like this color. I think this is definitely like a my lips but better kind of color. Ooh, I'm really excited about this. This is cute. I like this. Today is April 28th and I'm revisiting the ColourPop lip gloss in Rattler. And this is like the same exact story as Crushin, which I used the other day, that like I think of it poorly because I don't like the applicator. But like once it's on, it's gorgeous. It's a really beautiful gloss. I feel like I never wear this on its own. Like for some reason, this is just a gloss I always think to use a lip liner with, but it really is a really nice color by itself. I will say that putting it on, it smelled a little weird. Not like bad or old, just like weird. So I don't know what that's about, but like now that I've had it on for a little bit, I don't notice a weirdness at all, and I just really like it. I really like my eye look, too. I got a comment last month that I should do more tutorials, and I feel like this is the kind of look that I could do a tutorial about, because I really like it. Today's April 29th, and I'm wearing two Kylie lipsticks layered. The first one is the Courtney collab in the shade Mini, which is kind of like a bright reddish coral and then I plopped on top of it Charm which is a velvet from Kylie Cosmetics. They're they're both velvet. Did I say Colourpop before? I don't know if I said Colourpop. They're both Kylie Cosmetics and I've had them both for a while. Mini is like a very specific color that's always brighter than I expect it to be and even though it's not like my favorite everyday color I do like it and even just like the component of it still kind of feels like nice and special. But for Charm, it feels very old and dinky. It's a very pink lipstick and I feel like I've justified keeping it by thinking of it as like a tool to add that velvet formula to other lipsticks. But I feel like maybe it's because it's so old or something, but I feel like it's making this velvet less velvety. And the last time I wore this also, I can't remember what lip product I wore it with, but I felt a similar way, like it wasn't as creamy as it was supposed to be. So I think that Charm's just not doing it for me and I don't really need it in my rotation, but I do like Mini. I feel so. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, you got this. Thank you. Today's April 30th and I'm revisiting my NYX hashtag this is everything lip oil in sheer blush and not too much to report I do <laughs> it doesn't particularly excite me but it is nice it does have like a nice little <laughs> bit. babe can we go <laughs> <laughs> hurry up <laughs> it is nice it has a nice little bit of pinkiness and I think I probably will keep it around my lips feel like a little bit dry today so I don't know what that's about, but um, yeah, it's fine. 
Don't mind it. And uh, since today's the last of the month, it's the last of the month. So that's everything for April. We've officially made it through all of my lip products and yeah. So next month we're going to do a, another declutter where hopefully I can get my lipstick collection to a really manageable amount and be under a hundred. That's kind of my goal at the present moment. So if you're interested in that, stick around, give me a like, subscribe, really means a lot to me. And that's everything. Bye.